The summer of 1998 marked the start of one of the most remarkable projects to come out of the world of football in the past decades. It saw the creation of the first Victory work, a work of art created in honour of the FIFA Football World Cup of that year. Just before the tournament's final, all players of both finalist teams completed the work by signing it. It was the beginning of an astounding story that continues to this day. A further work of art has been created to accompany every single World Cup since then, and every single one of them has been signed by every single finalist player. What has resulted is a series of artefacts of football history, the like of which the world has never seen before. All victory works, as well as the underlying idea of the project, are the creation of one man, a Swiss artist known to the world simply as Dave. Although the victory works can rightfully be considered one of his most spectacular achievements, his artistic creations extend far beyond the realms of football. Over the years, his style has come to include elements from all kinds of art, merging sculpture, painting, performance, multimedia and much more. It has quite simply become impossible to tie him down to any existing category of creative endeavour. He has become a master at mixing them all freely, to great and often surprising effect. The element of surprise is, in fact, often a central aspect of his works. He frequently employs a technique of painting distorted images across reliefs, making them fully visible only from specific perspectives, while mixing them with other images that can only be seen from other perspectives. What results are three-dimensional objects that seem to radically change appearance as the observer moves past them. Even if you have seen one of Dave's works from one angle, you simply have no way of telling what it is you'll see from another. Very often you will find that what you thought you were looking at turns out to be something quite different. Or you might find that what you thought you were looking at was never actually there in the first place. And sometimes you might even suddenly catch a work of art literally coming to life. Despite all his other efforts, Dave remains firmly committed to the Victory Works project. His motivation is not only of an artistic nature, the undertaking is also a charitable one. All the existing works, which have remained in his property until today, are destined to be auctioned off one day, with the lion's share of the proceeds going to charity. Specifically, Dave wishes to help children in need in developing countries. The victory works are important to me for many reasons, but most importantly, it's about the children. It doesn't matter where you are born. Every child deserves to grow up in safety. Every child deserves to be fed. And every child deserves to go to school, to get an education, to get a chance of understanding the world we live in. In light of the project's importance in documenting football and World Cup history, and given its significant charitable aspect, FIFA has decided to officially support Dave in the creation of future Victory Works. Starting, of course, with the one dedicated to the World Cup of 2014 in Brazil. For the Victory Works project as a whole, particularly as far as its charitable goals are concerned, the upcoming World Cup is of particular importance. Large-scale publicity has so far been deliberately avoided in order to build up a collection spanning at least five World Cups before unveiling it to the public. This goal will be reached in 2014, thus making the World Cup in Brazil the first major opportunity to present this unique part of football history to the public. The Victory Works are unique and irreplaceable artefacts of the most glorious moments in the past two decades of football and true monuments to the players who have fought hard to make their way to the top of the football world. But in Brazil and thereafter, 
they also become something more, an acknowledgement of the unique chances that football brings today and a testament to its potential for creating a legacy that goes far beyond the pitch. I think this is an opportunity to do something really great. The goal to prove more than ever that football is one of the most powerful forces on the planet. To prove that football can change lives, change people, change countries. To prove that football can make this a better world.